Alright, so today we're going to be continuing to work on the two-speed 670 off-road go-kart. Now, what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be installing a 780 torque converter. We're going to be properly hooking up the throttle, properly hooking up all the wiring, and installing some lights and a light bar.
So I just finished installing the new torque converter from Go Power Sports. This is their 780 torque converter that they just added to their website. So uh, I'm really anxious to see how well this thing will be able to handle this massive heavy frame. This this frame really doesn't look that heavy, but it, it does weigh a lot. The tubing I used, it's not even tubing, it's pipe, and it's an eighth, the wall, the thickness of the wall is eighth of an inch thick. So this frame does weigh a lot. So I was just about to start on the wiring, but um, before I do all that, um, Oxbeam sent me a couple things. They sent me a light bar and a couple pod lights. Now, of course, we're going to be putting the light bar right here. We're going to be putting the pod lights on, in the front, acting as headlights. So as with everything, I'll be putting links in the description below to where you guys can find this stuff. Um, you will also, these links also act as discount codes. If you use the link in the description, and uh, you will get a 10 or 12% discount code. One of them is 10%, one of them is 12%. I forgot which one it is. I think the, the light bar is like 12% and the pod lights are 10%. It's, it's one or the other. So links in the description below to where you guys can find this stuff. If you use the links, you'll get a discount code. So uh, go check this stuff out, go buy this stuff. But um, for now, let's, uh, let's install these onto here and then focus on the wiring and then install the seat. Refinish the engine, get the airbox reinstalled, and then uh, have this thing ready to test. I want to see what this new torque converter will do.
I think the idle's a little high, but uh, this thing's pretty fast. Holy crap. So this thing is definitely a lot of fun. It is a huge improvement to what it used to be with the 420 engine and the 40 series torque converter. Now that this thing has a 670 with a 780 torque converter and semi-independent suspension, now this thing is a much better off-road vehicle. I want I really want to take this thing off-road to see what this will do, what how this will handle. But um, we've seen it with you know the smaller engine and the smaller torque converter, and it really just struggled the whole time off-road. It did it did pretty well for what this thing is, but it needed these changes. It needed a bigger engine, needed a bigger torque converter, and it needed semi-independent rear suspension. So and now that we have that, I think this thing is almost ready to call it done, to finish this thing and finally paint this. Now the reason I wait for so long to paint projects is because once I paint something, that means that I'm done working on it, I'm done trying to perfect it, I'm done making changes to it. And with this kind of stuff, I always try to perfect everything and make it as good as I can make it. That's why I've been making so many videos of this thing, tweaking stuff like the suspension, bigger engine, bigger torque converter, changing the two-speed transmission to make that thing a lot work a lot better and also changing the suspension. So now that we've done all that, now that this thing is done, it, it works a lot better, I think it's about time to finish this and paint this project. Now I need to decide on what color I should do. I think I have the orange dune buggy. The dual engine go-kart's going to be green again once I paint that thing. I think this thing should be painted red. You know, if I do a really deep, fiery red or more of a darker red, I'm not really sure what, but I think it should be painted red. I think this will look awesome with that color. So, next video is probably going to be painting this. I'm, I definitely need to do some more things like uh, finish the floor pan, finish welding here and there, add some other stuff, but I think I can do that off camera just because it's not really that biggest stuff to do. So, um, now I have to thank Oxbeam for sending me the light bar and the pod lights I've put on this project. Um, there's links in the description below to where you guys can find uh, discount codes to this stuff. I also have to thank Go Power Sports for sending me all the parts I use for this project. Links will be in the description below to where you, get, to where you guys can find everything. But uh, I gotta end this video here. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. So something I do want to say before I end this video is um, to clarify, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this new transmission that I'm building from scratch. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, you, you guys have seen my homemade two-speed transmission, and you guys know I love putting these on projects. I've, this is like the uh, third project that I've built with a two-speed transmission. I've always wanted to take this design to the next level, and I'm finally, finally doing that. I'm building from scratch a three-speed and reverse gearbox. It's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be an internal gearbox. Therefore, I can have oil on the inside of it so it can lubricate itself properly. It's going to have um, input shaft, output shaft, and I've been working for the last three weeks on this thing, and um, I'm only... I'm not even close to being done on the first step of building this. There's five different steps or things that I need to do to build this thing. I'm not even close to being done with the first one and I've been working on it for three weeks now. So I originally said on Instagram um, that I was putting that transmission on this project. I decided against it just because that thing's going to take around like two months to build. So I didn't want to wait that long to finish this thing. And this, this already has a working transmission on here. So I decided against it. I'm going to save the new transmission that I'm working on now for a different project. This thing already works. It already has everything that it needs to work. Just to, just to clarify that, in case you guys are wondering what happened with it. I'm still working on it. It's just, you know, it's not going to be put on this project. They, they make it to where this, this thing has to, it's it's better it's better just because it
Is somebody like killing those dogs or Yeah, um those dogs are <sighs> really annoying. The neighbors probably say th say the same thing about me, but whatever. Who cares? Uh -oh. oh no. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, it just dumped everywhere. This is not really working. This is making a really big mess. Uh, I did not want to have to pull this engine out to drain this oil. This is as far back as I can move it. I The drain plug is like not in the greatest spot. How much oil is in this thing? That made a really big mess. <sighs> I know, I know, I'm an idiot. I should have done it this way. Well, guess what? I didn't. So, I did it this way. It made a mess. No big deal. Just clean it up. Remove the governor gear from the side cover. A small clip holds the gear to a shaft. Where? Oh, that? Bend the opening of the clip and slide the gear off and make sure to get the washer riding behind the gear. Oh, okay.